guys welcome to the channel i'm the sag moon diva and i'm going to be doing a reading for you guys all right i want to see what is the energy surrounding you all at this time somebody could be uh rushing in they may want to communicate with you this also feels because i saw page of cups and a page of swords in the middle of the deck somebody definitely wants to uh talk to you they they Somebody feels like some type of gentleness towards you. This person maybe wants to express some type of emotion. Could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, could be a Cancer, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that may want to express something to you. Okay, why are these messages coming through? All right, why are these messages coming through for the sign of Taurus? Oh, seven of cups in the reverse, okay? So it could be that somebody has made up their mind when it comes to you. This could have been somebody that um, there may have been a situation where they may have had other options. They maybe not have been sure if they were ready to date anybody at this point, but this is somebody that is determined. Uh, they, they see some type of pleasure with you, so they want to maybe reach out. Okay, success and joy here. Also, you have the Seven of Pentacles here next to the Seven of Pentacles is that uh, Seven of Cups. Oh, we got Seven Seven here. Okay, so whoever this person is, they are, I'm telling you, there's been a reevaluation of you. This person has reevaluated. They've kind of thought about this long and hard. Oh, this person has been thinking. Could be an Earth sign as well. This could be a fellow Taurus, could be a Capricorn, could be a Virgo that you all are dealing with that is finally coming out of this. Um, Weighing their emotions, all right, and whether or not they want to do this. This is somebody that moves slow. Ooh, what did I tell you? Definitely somebody that's moving slow. This is the chariot energy in the reverse, okay? Chariot in the upright is all about movement, moving fast. But I feel like this person, they took too long to make a decision when it came to you. They moved too slow and they missed out, okay? <laughs> they are the ones that missed out, huh? Yes, for some of you all, this person moved too slow. May not have been ready to settle down. You do have that king of wands there in the reverse. This could have been... A Oh, I'm getting strong player energy. Could have been player energy with this person. This king of wands there in the reverse. Um, I do feel there may have been a lot of fighting with this person. Some of you all could have been dealing with a Taurus. Wow, I keep saying Taurus. It has to be some of y'all are dealing with a fellow Taurus, but it could also be a Sagittarius, a Leo, could be an Aries, somebody that was not ready to settle down, maybe a little bit hot in the pants is the energy I'm getting. Yes, yeah, some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Leo. This is someone that's feeling a lot of regret about this situation. They've been in their head. They've been depressed about this situation not working out, okay? Knight of Cups, all right? Be very careful with this person because like I said, this person is definitely coming off as a player. For some of you all, this could be a womanizer. This could be a woman that loves to play, you know, around. I feel like for some of you all, this could have been somebody that loves attention, Whoever this is, they love attention. And the thing is, is that they're not happy about the fact they're not getting attention from you anymore, okay? So um, this could have been somebody that wasn't truthful. They could have been someone that was um, coming in kind of hot and heavy, wanting to have sex or just giving off this energy. Even if you didn't sleep with this person, I feel like some of you all kind of felt the red flag coming. You were like, I don't know. You kind of coming in towards me sideways, which makes me think that you're looking for just sex. And this is how this situation ended up the way it is. Yeah. King of Pentacles there in the reverse. I do feel like some of you all felt like this person was maybe trying to bribe you into having sex or trying to bribe you with sex so they can get money. Ooh, we getting deep. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, you didn't trust this person. This is somebody, I'm telling you, somebody that loves attention. They love attention. All I keep getting is somebody that wants you to give them this attention. But I feel like with, with the earth sign, especially a Taurus, once you see somebody for what they are, you pay them dust. Like, you literally are paying this person dust. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. I really try not to laugh, but one of y'all, okay, if this is just one or many, y'all are paying somebody complete dust and it is driving them up the mother freaking wall, okay? They hate it. This is somebody that hates this. They could be overindulgent. Oh, some of them are definitely somebody that gets around or they've gotten around in the past or you may look at them like this. 
or this is somebody that overindulges, could be an overindulging in alcohol, um, their feelings. They may don't like the fact that they, you make them feel things. This may, could be a reason why the things have stopped between the two of you all, because this person may not have expected this. Keep in mind, this is that knight of, this is that king of wands energy. This is the king of pentacles, all of that type of energy there. And for some of you all, you may have been tired of dealing with these types. May have been tired of dealing with the players, okay? Only wanting to come in for sexting. Maybe tired of the people that, um, you know, plan on your emotions, you know? Everybody's getting the same attention that they're giving to you. Somebody's definitely down in somebody's sincerity. Also, somebody feels like somebody is very emotionally manipulative and they do this for money. You're trying to get something out of me. There's something that you want and I see it now. This is why I no longer, the cups are dry. This is why you poured the cups out. You're not giving this person the attention you used to give them because I feel like for some of you all, you see right through them. What did I tell you? You see right through them. Queen of Swords energy, okay? Some of you all have cut somebody off because you finally see them for who they are or several people for who they really are. All right, look at that. Queen of Wands next to the Queen of Swords energy. This is definitely a player, somebody that may have had more than one person up their sleeve, okay? Could have been with the Queen of Wands as well as a Queen of Swords. Fire energy, air energy. This is somebody that was spreading it low, spreading it wide. There you are with that Three of Pentacles energy there. That's that third party interference, okay? Third party interference that is coming from this person but let me tell you they don't give up they do not give up it's like even i keep getting somebody very shallow very shallow as shallow as this person is like they don't they don't like to lose you all are dealing with somebody that does not like to lose you are making them sweat let me tell you i have not been hot until i started doing this reading and i'm even getting a little bit of sweat beads on the top of my head y'all done made this person sweat who is this? Let me tell you, I don't know if you all are changing this person's ways by you showing them your boundaries, but you have going deeper, you have romantic, and you have surrender. Let me tell you what happens to a person that doesn't get attention. You'll usually hear some people tell stories of, oh, how did you meet your person or how did you get your person? I got them by not giving a damn about them is what some people will say. Oh, this was a type that was used to getting attention. They were attractive. They were this. They were that. So I did the opposite of that. It wasn't that they were playing games. This is just who they are and this is what attracted this person. So I feel like for some of you all, this person is used to getting laid. This person is used to getting attention. This person is used to people spoiling them. But I feel like you pay this person dust. Whether this is somebody from your past or somebody maybe at your job that wants to pursue you somewhere out in the world this person wants to pursue you and this is truly because you are completely different from what they were used to you're not giving them this you're not giving somebody a reward for giving you half as connection and this is why this person wants to be with you what did i tell you i don't feel obligated to commit non-committal i'm telling you all this is a player you have, I still have what you gave me, all right? And I'm telling you, I feel like what you all gave them was nothing. I still feel the rejection that you gave me and I can't, and I keep holding on to that. Somebody is so turned on by you, Taurus, because you didn't give them what they wanted, which was attention, which was time, which was sex, which was money, et cetera. You put the situation where you need to put it. But this person wants you because you let them know, I don't need you. I'm telling you. Coming back for you because it's real. What did I tell you? That you, you literally beat this person at their own game. Ooh, this is going to end up being the title of this. And I'm going to write it down because I always forget. I always forget. So I want to make sure I write this down as a title. Oh, this darn hourglass is so annoying. It keeps making that little beating noise. <laughs> Sorry, um, I had to stop my reading for a second, but usually sometimes I will have these good titles and I don't write them down and I'm like, it's so frustrating. But whoever this person is that you, you have, let me tell you, you paid them dust. <laughs> 
Do you see how this woman is sitting here with that surrender and she got her eyes blindfolded? She's like, I, I'm, I'm Ray Charles to this, okay? You were Ray Charles to this person. You didn't see nothing, okay? And this is why this person is wanting to go deeper. This is why this person is wanting to get you to know you more. They want to treat you differently than the others. This person where they normally have people like spending on them, this person wants to spend on you, whether that's money, whether that's time, affection, you name it. This person wants to give this to you. You have, are you hiding something from me? You have threatened by your hustle. Now you've made the player insecure because let's see, everybody always gives me attention. All of a sudden you're not giving it to me. So there must be something you're doing. Okay. They think that you're out here doing all the things that they normally do to other people because you beat them at their own game. What did I tell you? received bad karma. This is somebody you may have given them a chance. You may have tried to make something work with them, but then they played you. Okay. Cause keep in mind, we got the queen of swords here. We got the queen of wands here. We have a lot of knights and kings here. So for some of you all, you're dealing with somebody that could be bisexual. For some of you all, you're dealing with somebody that may want to spend a lot of time with their friends. They already told you they spent a lot of time with their friends, but when they're with their friends, this is when they go meet up with their other people. So you beat them at their own game by saying, you know what, if you want to be out there in the world and you want to be a dog and you want to play, then I'm going to let you go out there and go out in there and play and, you know, out there and play in the grass because you're not going to play in this house. For some of you all, this could have been a marriage partner, somebody you considered, somebody, you know, marrying down the line. But you were like, no, if you're going to play that type of energy, you go out there with those dogs and you, you know, get those fleas because you're not getting that here. This person wants you back. For those that this person is from your past, you have this last, just this last time. I'm needing you to trust me. I'm telling you, you beat them at their own game. This person is keeping tabs on you left and right. They must be doing something all over your social media. Boom. And this is why that page of swords was in the middle of that deck. This person is keeping tabs. They are watching you because they can't understand why you're not running after them. It's what they're used to, but you're not giving it. <laughs> it's the nerve for me. <laughs> your person has a lot of nerve, Taurus. <laughs> all right let's see given the most important messages for the sign of taurus and their person please most important messages for the taurus and their person please didn't i tell you for some of you all this person could be bisexual either you could be bisexual this person could be bisexual for some of y'all your person may be bi curious of course take it where it resonates it's not for everyone look they don't give a damn about you walking away this isn't over they want to reconnect. This person wants more. They want to give you the ring or have you give them the ring because you're somebody to them that is different from the rest. They were not expecting this. For some of you all, this person could return this month. For others of you all, uh, this could also be an indication of there being either a Pisces or an Aquarius or something significant happened last year at that time. Wow. Wake up to a spiritual truth, 666. This person is woken up to the spiritual truth of this connection that they cannot deny. Wow, I'm going to pull one more from this deck. <laughs> Some of you all are definitely dealing with a fellow Taurus because this, this is my Taurus card. Are you hungry? Okay, or it could be somebody that knows how to cook. You could be a chef. They could be a chef. Somebody may ask you out to eat. Kind of see where things go. Give me more messages, please. Give me more messages for the Taurus and their person. What did I tell you? This person is insecure of the fact that you've moved on. You're not communicating and they think you're talking to somebody else because you just got the card here that says, I bet she can't do it like me. Making somebody feel insecure. You have the faith card here. This person has faith. This situation is going to turn around. You have, we move too fast, okay? Could have been a sexual energy that drew, drew you to this person. But let's see what we have. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is somebody that got around or gets around. One more message. Uh-huh. Got them in their head, Taurus. Like I said, for somebody, this is somebody that loves sex. You have the quickie card here. But this person is in their head about you. Can't sleep, can't think, can't. Can't sleep, 
can't think, can't eat. I can't talk today. Sorry guys, I'm kind of rushing because I wanted to get this video out, but I have to run um, a couple of errands. So, Whew. this is crazy. Let's see. They telling you it's not over. So, is it over for you? Let's see, give me more messages. Give me more messages. <laughs> it is definitely not over for this person, okay? Page of Cups. Uh, some of you all could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer. It's not over for them. This is somebody that wants to be near you. This is somebody that's going to try to reach out. I feel like this is somebody, if they're not younger than you, this is somebody that could be a little... <sighs> I'm getting like... They come off as very kind of in, in, immature, inexperienced in relationships. Uh, yeah, they really want to communicate. Yes, they're going to rush in. They're coming back, okay? <laughs> Ain't no doubt about it. They already told you it's not over. They want a new beginning with you. This is somebody that wants to go on a journey with you. This is somebody that does love you. But this is somebody that I'm telling you, they may come back noncommittal. This may come, this person may come back and still be in that energy that they were in before. Uh, also with that nine of ones, this could also mean for those, um, Ooh, wait a minute, Taurus, for some of you all, this person that wants you back, this nympho, okay. Oh, this person may have cut off all of their sexual conquests. You see this? You see all them people they didn't have sex with? Let me tell you, I feel like this person has cut off. Some of you all are definitely dealing with the fire sign. Scorpio, I'm sorry. Oh, could be Scorpio though. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. This person has cut their other people off because they want this connection. They want you. They see you as their queen of wands. You have fire. You have passion. They are very attracted to you. They love how you command attention without even having to. Let me tell you something. You that chick or you that dude, regardless. And this person knows this. No other person can compare. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me tell you something. This person got around, baby. But no amount of people that they may have had sex with. I see men and women here. Some of you all are definitely bisexual or your person is. Okay? This person has been around the world, but they ain't never met one like you. You a bad mamma jamma. And they coming back for you. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Like I said before, with this person here, be very careful because I do feel like they're biding their time for it right now. They're watching you and biding their time with that Knight of Cups energy there. They're afraid that you're not going to believe that they've changed. They feel that you're still going to think they're the same womanizer that you've known in the past. They're afraid that you're, you're going to still think they're a fraud. But at the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Wands. This person is rushing in to tell you something. They got some good news for you. And it has to do with some type of success. Whether success in winning you back, success in getting over this need to entertain other people, whatever it is, they got something to tell you. Extra, extra, read all about it. This person wants you. Wow. Final messages. Final messages moving forward for the sign of Taurus and their person. Final messages moving forward for the sign of Taurus and their person. You beat them at their own game, Taurus. The ball is in your court now. All they can do is wait to see. Look at that. Door to personal healing and happiness. You can't make that up. Door to personal healing and happiness. Self-explanatory. Bottom of the deck. I told you you all got a choice to make. He, this person put the ball in your court. Question is, which way are you going to go? If you all enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Side Moon Diva. If you guys are interested in celebrity tarot readings, check me out on my second channel, Celebrity Tarot Readings with an S at the end. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.